It's so funny how PlayStation gets rid of PlayStation Home and now I'm doing a story on them buying something. It's kind of kind of crazy how they do this. I'm trying to make money, you gotta lose money to make money, I guess. So OnLive announced today that their cloud gaming service is going to be done, that they are closing it down on April 30th, 2015. If you don't know what OnLive is, OnLive was a Netflix-style streaming service for video games, basically. You would pay either a monthly fee or you would pay for each individual game and they would stream it to you and you could play it. They had like this peripheral box kind of thing. It, uh, you, you just hooked it up to your TV, like an HDMI cord or whatever, and it would connect to your Wi-Fi or your Ethernet cable and you could play your games through the network, through the cloud. Yeah. So they're going out of business April 30th and anyone who uh, bought the service after March 28th will be refunded. Um, for that purchase. So the interesting thing about this is that Sony is buying up assets for OnLive. And it's not a huge connection you have to make here that they are doing this for their PlayStation Now uh, program on the PlayStation 4. It is essentially OnLive. OnLive is doing the same thing that PlayStation Now is doing. They are having games on your console that you just stream instead of having to download. So you don't need to worry about having to download huge games. You don't need to worry about any of that stuff. You don't have to wait three hours for your game to download at all. It's just a streaming service, just like Netflix for games. PlayStation was doing it, OnLive was doing it, and Gaikai was doing it. Now Gaikai is essentially what OnLive has become. It was a former rival for uh, on live, but then PlayStation bought them, bought their assets, and took a lot of their servers, a lot of their ideas, and all that stuff. And that's what they're doing with on live here. They're taking their assets and they are using it for PlayStation now. And this is my idea here. I think honestly, PlayStation knows that eventually, eventually, gaming is going to move to the cloud. Once, um, once latency is gone, completely gone, and internet speeds are fast enough. I don't think we're going to be seeing downloaded games in the next five years. I think most of the games are going to start just being streaming games. If they can get to the point where the majority of people has fast enough internet to play these games just through streaming, I think it's going to be a lot cheaper for the companies to do that instead of having to print boxes, print CDs, publish it out, send it out, and have people buy it. I think it's just going to be a lot easier for people to be able to stream the game. Just by paying one fee, they can stream it whenever they want through the servers. And I think that's the future. I think that's the future. Once the technology catches up, I think that's what's going to happen. I don't think we're going to see consoles anymore. I think we're going to see streaming boxes and little USB sticks that you plug into your TV like Amazon Fire TV stick and things like that. It's going to be like that. We're not going to have dedicated consoles in the next five to maybe ten years. I still, I, We still have time with these consoles. I probably think there's another generation or two, maybe three, of uh, pure hardware consoles, but eventually all this stuff is going to be moved to the cloud and I think PlayStation knows that and that's why they're buying this, that uh, on live up in Gaikai. The one thing that does suck about that though is you are dependent on servers. You are dependent on the servers running optimally and perfectly. And I think that shows a problem because people like Lizard Squad are hacking PlayStation and Xbox on a daily basis. People like Lizard Squad, of course they've been caught and things like that, but <sighs> They're getting hacked constantly, and if we have to rely on them to protect the servers from getting hit from Lizard Squad and things like that, the streaming servers, then it's going to be a problem. If they can figure out higher security uh, on these servers, then it'll be fine. But if people can't play their games because someone is attacking the server that is literally streaming their game, people are going to be pissed. And that's already happening now with the DRM and everything. When, it, when uh, Lizard Squad attacked PS4's network, or the PlayStation network, I couldn't play Far Cry. I couldn't play Far Cry 4 at all because the DRM couldn't connect to a server to verify my game because it was a digital game. I don't know if that happens with disc games, but um, I know it happened with Far Cry. And that pisses me off. That makes me angry that because some kid on his computer destroy their servers, I can't play my game. 
I think that's that's getting ridiculous. And if we're gonna trust Sony and Xbox to have all of their games on a cloud server that are just streaming to you instead of actual hardware that you can control, turn on and on independently from the internet, I think it's gonna be a problem. I think two things need to happen, of course, like I said, the latency needs to be perfectly gone. It needs to be completely gone. There has to be no latency, it has to be perfect for it to be accepted. The graphics need to be perfect there has to be no latency and everything has to look exactly like it would on a console if they want this to work. And the second most important thing is security because if we have people destroying the servers every single week and literally stopping hundreds of thousands of people from playing their games, it's going to be a problem. It's going to be a huge problem. Tell me what you think in the comments section. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more gaming news. I'm going to be doing a lot more videos. I have some videos that I posted recently. Go ahead and check those guys out. Thanks for watching and go ahead and post in the comments section, like I said, what you think and if you think that moving towards cloud gaming is a good idea or a bad idea and the positives and negatives because right now I'm honestly just seeing negatives from it. Of course you don't have to have hardware, but I'd rather have hardware. I don't know. It's a weird, it's a weird decision to make. It's, there's a lot of negatives, but there's kind of some positives, I suppose. So tell me what you guys think. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.